Long ago, there existed a land of golden light sorceries known as Ulasil. Dedicated to their fiery gods, they were permitted to settle at the base of An Orlando, a rare privilege for a human civilization. The city and its people flourished, but as we know, so long as there are the privileged, there will also be the disenfranchised, the impoverished, and the repressed. Many a human settlement was repressed forced to live in squalor far below. A young pyromancer, strong of body and of heart, set off to seek fortune and fame, hoping to elevate his family and his people. He traveled far and wide, slowly but surely carving out a name for himself with his sword and his pyromantic arts. However, in his absence, a terrible sickness began to spread among his people. A blight that spared few ravaged the cities and villages far below the ruins of Ulysil and Nulando. While the young adventurer was away, his child grew ill and eventually passed. Grief-stricken and left alone in the world without her beloved husband, the mother eventually succumbed as well. Soon word reached the young man of the plight his home now faced, and he rushed back, bringing with him many riches, oddities, and most importantly, wisdom. His wisdom, however, was not enough. Great as he had become, he could not raise the dead. No, not yet. Gathering the bodies of his wife and child, he set off on another adventure. Not for fame or for glory, no. Now all he wanted was to be whole again. To have his family back. For what good was fame or wealth without his beloved wife and child? In his journeys, he had learned of the supposed location of one who might help him. The one who gave us the first death. Gravelord Nita, who ruled over the dead and if rumor was to be believed, dwelt deep underground beneath the catacombs in the mass grave of those that had fallen to the everlasting dragons. Delving deep into the catacombs, he made a small home for himself within an enormous coffin. There, he laid his wife and child to rest for a time. He had work to do. When the young warrior managed to find his way to the Gravelord, he was utterly defeated. Nito had no interest in resurrecting those who had received death's gentle embrace, for Nito's only concern was to teach ever more of the living, of the peace that is death, and to ensure those that had received it remained undisturbed. Pledging himself to Nito as a Grave Warden, his life was spared, and he was allowed to remain there within the tombs and catacombs, biding his time, learning. The young man built up his strength and studied all that he could of Nito's gathered knowledge of death, recording his findings in hundreds of grimoires. Finally, he found his answer. The Rite of Kindling. An artifact that Nito kept on his person at all times. With it, he could further his use of pyromancy, which drew on the powers of life, and combined it with his accumulated knowledge of death, and then, he could have his family back. He would cheat death. With a band of unlikely allies, heretics who were fixated on overthrowing the very gods, he stormed the Gravelord's tomb, and after a lengthy battle, wrested the rite of kindling from Nito. Barely escaping with his life, he returned to his workshop and prepared himself. His hypothesis was sound, and after thousands upon thousands of calculations and experiments reviving animals and insects, he was ready. He was successful in his own macabre way. His family was alive, yes, but in his arrogance, he attempted to cheat death itself, 
which came at a high price. Now fused into one grotesque being, the family was literally whole, becoming the creature known as Pinwheel. So began the profaned art of necromancy, which many sought out in the dark of the catacombs. Pinwheel took on many apprentices, for he would require all the assistance possible to undo his mistake. Was he close? Who is to say? None will ever know, for the chosen undead arrived, seeking a way to save the Age of Fire. Everything in Lordron is cyclical. Like the cycle of light and dark, everything repeats. For eons later, a young sorcerer would follow in Pinwheel's footsteps. Navlon would bring about the downfall of his entire village in his desperation to master the art of resurrection. In doing so, he too became something profaned and feared, splitting his mind in two. When he was found out, his entire village was raised to prevent his twisted deeds and knowledge from escaping into the wider world, and he was given to the current lord's brother, Aldia, for no one would miss him. Undead, eh? Well, you've come a long way. <laughs> but had he succeeded where Pinwheel had failed? Who can say? Many targets are vulnerable to this technique. From the femoral artery in the groin to the arms. 